question is, where is there a big level? You see lines on this chart, folks. I didn't get in at first off of any of these lines. I mean, it dropped down to 30 here in pre-market at five in the morning. I was sleeping. So where do we have a big level on ASTS? We're going to be able to answer that with bookmap actually here. Give me a quick sec because otherwise, I'll show you this here on level four. Uh, and actually, I'll just get this out here for all of us in chat. But otherwise, where do we see a big dot? Where do we see a big ball, a big dot on the heat map here? Looking at this page, where do we see a big spike on that CVP column? What do we got here, folks? Ryan says 31.44. So Phil kind of like agreeing there. That's kind of like just don't focus on the orange box there as much. But generally speaking, it's like near there, right? It's kind of near there. So this area here, you can see it's uh, at 31.36. But it says volume there, right? Volume. That's what I'm focused on. So the price. But at the end of the day on, I think this was Thursday's trading, we saw, or Wednesday's trading, maybe otherwise, we saw an 842,000 share transaction go off. Uh, a big print that came in on the tape, print as in P R I N T S, not prints, right? I got a speech impediment. So, you know, prints as in printed on the time and sales window. We're going to cover that in our phase, uh, phase one class next month. Do a little bit of that in phase two coming up probably by the end of the day today. But um, it's to say at least that that creates a big level for us to work with. I'm not texting anyone right now, folks, just so you know. I'm breaking out the old calculator. So 842,794 times $31.36. You could see that there in the webcam right there. What does that say? 26 mil, 26.4 mil. So, hey, who's doing what at that price? Do we know? We don't. If we did, we wouldn't be on a YouTube stream right now, right? You and I wouldn't be. Come on. If we knew what was happening there right away, we wouldn't be doing classes, right? Now, what that means is that doesn't just mean to buy. It's easy to say, well, it took off here afterwards and it popped today. Yeah, but it's to say that this just simply creates a big level for us to work with for the next trading day. So I think on Friday, this was, well, yeah, it took off at first, but then look what happened. Unfortunately, this didn't hold support here, right? I mean, for as much as it broke over that level and ran, you would figure for resistance to, to become support. It didn't. It didn't. It held under it well. You know, maybe in the afternoon it tried and failed, got weak. So that didn't play out as a, as a key level, at least as much on Friday's trading. But this at least brings us back to this dot and like what it means and, and at least who's doing what there. We don't have that answer as far as who's doing what, at least right away. But we have to ask, okay, well, what color is that dot? What color is that ball, that dot? It's green. So what do we denominate green as? What do we nickname? What's the nickname for green in our, in our time and sales classes? Larry says, you know, it's institutional investors. Well, I cover it more in the actual classes, but case in point, like, yeah, you're right. Like to a degree, you know, it's big traders, right? It's big money, right? So that's what we're kind of thinking of it as. But even further, what do we nickname green as? Buying. That's the nickname we give to green. That's the nickname. The, the full legal name, though, is at the ask. That's the full legal at birth name. Like my nickname is Josh, you know, Issa Trade. I got a couple other nicknames there, too. But full birth name is Joshua Max Levitan, right? So here, did this become that big buying level? Well, yeah, first it did. But once again, we just came off class. I'm going to be phase one again here. But for Brian, Chuck, Joyce, Phil, Daniel, all of our students, actually, when a stock breaks over resistance and it runs, resistance flips into what? Flips right into support. So it should at least. That's where it didn't and it failed. So you don't want to catch a falling knife. Obviously, it didn't play out the way that you wanted it to on Friday. Just because it didn't play out the way you wanted it to on Friday doesn't mean it's not going to play out that way over time, right? You know, it's the joke I say now, right? Like it's the President Bush line that he messed up years back, a um, long time ago at this point. But, you know, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. All right. Well, my version of that is fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on you. Fool me three times again, maybe even a fourth time. But eventually you got to realize it's not for you. Now, what I mean by that is, hey, this could have flipped into support here. It just didn't. It's not to say that it can't come up. So by the time the market opened up this morning, I already had that level on my own chart going into the day. This was more of a simple 
kind of break over the level for me. The only thing I will say is that like for students here that I'm like part of our trading room right now, I slightly broke the five minute rule. I rarely like to break the five minute rule, but with this, it pulled back. It was holding well under it basically for a bit and it popped back above. It was pretty much, it was like over here almost as it was pushing back up towards. So it was like about 30, 45 seconds before 9.35 and I took my first entry on this trade. Ran it up a little bit at the time. And this provided the first of a few entries on this trade for me. So I want to go over this in full, but I want to go over at least why I was looking at this. Obviously, it was moving from last week. That's why we were looking at it. But if this just tanked right here and completely fell off, then I would have been focused on another stock. I would have been looking elsewhere at that time. Well, I was looking elsewhere, but I would have been even more looking elsewhere. You know what I mean? Like, I can't short this stock really. So unless it made this move, I was probably going to move on. So I was looking for it to break under and over, under and over. And thankfully, it caused that opportunity or gave me that opportunity and led to a pretty good squeeze at the time. Now, I want to jump around a little bit because easy to say in hindsight, this I'm a cyber over. group member today. Just click the link below and receive all these amazing products and a world of knowledge for just $9. Do it today.